Um, we're doing the, uh, what the fuck is this video called again? Reason to die, beginner guide, free, low rank. Okay, so we're doing the low rank weapons, guys. Awesome source. That's what all the cool kids say, right, guys? Yeah. On the screen now should be um, the weapons that are being included. So you can look at them now, uh, see if your favorite weapon isn't on it, and then click off the video if it isn't, I guess. Don't do it though, because um, I need to get views to uh, boost my ego. Yeah, so um, if you do it, you're a stinkhead. No, unacceptable. I also forgot to put the um, Wingmaster in last time, so we're just gonna pretend that it was meant to be in this one. Ever. Jesus Christ, this intro is getting long. Um, fuck. Uh, just let's let's get into it then, I guess. The Wingmaster is what you want to go for after you get the Mac 10, or if you just skip the Mac 10 and go from the Remington, you can go to the Wingmaster. The extra ammo upgrade for the Remington is, I mean, sorry for the Wingmaster is very good and paired with a um ammo bag or a tactical one vest you can have quite a lot of ammo to like last you for a long time this shotgun is really good at close to medium range uh but i'd prefer to use it at medium range because at least you have a distance between the um zombies it's also quite effective against most zombies probably not um the champion though yeah i reckon if you're going up against a champion you should probably Whip out your Styram um, as a backup pistol. Styram is very good uh, when paired with the Wingmaster. Personally, I use this Styram as like a set of backup bullets um, in case I lower something and I don't want it to uh, get kill stolen by some guy across the map using like a beret or something. But yeah, the Wingmaster shotgun is a must have beginner weapon, so definitely get that as soon as you can. Yeah. Uh, then we have the Gar Garand, Garand, uh, whatever. Uh, basically, buffed Remington. It's pretty good. Um, one shots like a, c a couple zombies, you know. But uh, make sure you get the hard bullets because it allows you to like one shot like uh, like other stuff. Like I think it one shots the swarmer and the uh, what's it called elemental. If you get um. And the digger, if you get uh, hard bullets, could be mistaken though. Uh, but I think it one shots those. Um, yeah, so it's really good. Um, the range, remember, it's not a sniper rifle; it's just a rifle, so the range isn't that good. Uh, yeah, be sure to get the um, like I don't remember what it's called, but it's the one that gives you an extra clip. Give that, get that upgrade. Uh, I think it's the only upgrade on the gun. It's definitely worth it. Um, yeah. The Dragonov is the next weapon that we'll talk about. Um, this one is a really good uh, sniper rifle. It's got quite a lot of range. Uh, does like uh, a bit of damage. You know, it does 125 if I recall, which is enough to take out a regular zombie and an Edgar in one hit. Um, yeah. Uh, use this if you like. Uh, like if you're on phone, maybe. Use this because, like, you can just effortlessly kill, effortlessly, sorry, kill um, zombies. Uh, yeah, it's really good on void, by the way. So if you're uh, into void farming or you've you want to try it out, uh, I'd get this weapon to do it because the Garand isn't as good in void farming, seeing as like it it's a huge map. So other people are gonna get your kill unless you use a uh, like the Barrette or the Winchester, Winchester. Or the um, what is it? The 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 what the, the dragon of you know what we're talking about now, yeah. And make sure to get the upgrade that gives um four more bullets per clip. Next up, we have the HK416 or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, somebody told me it's HK416, maybe. I don't know. This is a really good automatic weapon. Um, it's good. Uh, like all the other automatics if you um, can't really aim since you get to um, have multiple shots and you don't have to rely on hitting every single one the major downside to this weapon is that it has not much um, reserve ammo or clips or whatever 
So if I were you, I would uh, definitely go for the ammo upgrade as well as bringing a um, tactical vest with you um, whenever you use this gun. So use this if you really liked how the Mac 10 um, played. Personally, I really like the um, gameplay that it provided, being able to just run around, shoot a lot of um, zombies and not have to really worry about um, hitting all your shots. The Thompson is quite expensive for its rank. Um, it's similar to the HK in that um, it's an automatic weapon. Um, yeah. Its major drawbacks is that it has slow fire rate and very bad accuracy. And the uh, drum mag attachment doesn't make it any better, giving it um, a, even less accuracy. Despite this, I think if you are going to get the Thompson, which I'd just advise you to get the HK instead, um, I would definitely go for the drum mag because the um, extra bullets is probably uh, better than like, like the trade-off is worth it is what I'm trying to say. But if I were you, I'd just go for the HK because the Thompson really only has the benefit of doing more total damage but it is so slow like fire rate and accurate like poor accuracy that it's very difficult to um deal with a large amount of zombies in comparison if you were using the um hk you could probably chip away at them quite well but uh you know this is just um a bit worse in my opinion the last gun that we're going to be uh featuring uh today is the m16a1 this is a burst gun, which uh, this one, well, in the game, they shoot out three shots uh, each time you click. But this gun can shoot one bullet as well at a time. If you, um, I don't remember the button, but one of the buttons, I'll put it on screen. Uh, when you click it, it will toggle between burst and single fire mode, like semi-auto or whatever. I don't think this weapon is worth getting because um, it's a burst Uh there's also like a um, barrel attachment which people say saved the gun or whatever but it's still uh, probably more worthwhile getting like the M16 or something else because I just really don't like bursts personally but I don't know you might like them or whatever and I guess you can get them in that case. The bats the final weapon that I'm gonna be talking about today and uh, it's a pretty good melee only thing is, uh, melee isn't very useful, like, a lot of the time, if you're me at least, I don't have, like, the most decent internet, so, a lot of the time, when I hit something with the melee, I, uh, can also, like, still take damage because of my, um, ping or such, but, um, yeah, it, it's up to you, really, uh, if you need it, but... If you're like trying to get more money, I wouldn't bring a melee uh, like at all. Really, I just bring like a sidearm uh, weapon because you know uh, you can just get more money, and that's really what this game's about. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Uh, reason for the long ass wait. Uh, had two weeks where I couldn't use my computer, and I didn't really want to play the game on my phone. Uh. And then I was just grinding for the other two weeks, uh, like on and off, because, you know, I don't play the game all the time. It's not my um, main thing to do, but yeah, whatever. Okay, goodbye.